Your Excellency, Reverend Fathers, Brothers and Sisters in Christ, I have already welcomed you to the church in Linge and the Gupan. We came from different places to be here this morning. From Lawag, you went south towards Pangasinan, from Abra, Ilocosur, and then closer to us is La Union. Some came from the west and moved towards the east. Some came from the east, like Urdaneta, and moved towards central Pangasinan. In a manner of speaking, you came taking different roads. Region 1 plus Abra, we took different roads. But the road is not as important as the destination. What is important is, you know where St. John Cathedral is. That is important. What road you take does not really matter, provided you know where you are going. For this whole day, we will come together to talk about a synodal church, synodal schools, colleges, and universities. For a starter, just keep in mind, synodality is not the nature of the church. Synodality is the way of the church because the Lord did not call us to be always on the road. The Lord called us to be with Him forever in heaven. So I say it again, the roads are important. Walking together is important. Traveling together is important, but traveling together is not as important as the destination that you want to reach. And our destination is heaven. Some will go to heaven as good teachers. Some will go to heaven as good accountants. Some will go to heaven as good priests and religious men and women. Some will go to heaven as students even different paths, synodality. But the important thing to remember is, where are you going? And our final destiny is not St. John the Evangelist Cathedral. Our final destiny is heaven because our destiny is life everlasting. And everything that we must do must be a step closer to life everlasting. So what does it mean to be a synodal school? A school of synodality, a university, a college of synodality. You know from your school heads that synhodos is same path. Hodos, road, path, way, and sin is related to similar, same. So when you speak of synhodos, synodality, we speak of the same path, taking the same road. What does it mean to be an educational institution that is synodal? First and foremost, we cannot be good teachers and we cannot be good pupils and disciples if we do not know how to listen. A listening school, a listening teacher, a listening church is what the world needs now. Because to listen is to love. And we don't listen to those we don't love. That is why if your loved one complains and says to you, but you are not listening, that loved one is actually saying to you, your love has diminished. We are shouting at each other, even if we are close to each other, because we are not listening anymore, and love has diminished. If the school is to carry the mark of Jesus Christ, then the mark of Jesus Christ is that our school should be schools of love. And love is so vague, love is up there in the air, how do we express our love for each other? Simply this, 
by listening, by respectful listening, to listen and to be enriched by what we hear. Not just to listen and then later on prepare to rebut. Not just to listen and then later on to incriminate. But to listen with love and to find the treasure in one another. But the second challenge of a synodal school, after being a listening church, is that it must be a courageous church. It must be a courageous school, college or university. And here, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, the saints for today, teach us the beautiful lesson. Cornelius was Bishop of Rome. Cyprian was Bishop of Carthage. But they were facing the same challenge of heresy in those days. They teamed together. You know, it is fun to walk together. I relax by walking. But sometimes our walking is not as pleasant as the road to, of the disciples to Emmaus. Because sometimes our walking can mean the way of the cross. Sometimes our walking can lead us to Calvary. The walking does not always lead to your eyes being opened because the Lord had broken the bread. Because sometimes the road can lead you to Calvary the road can be the way of the cross. But take it nevertheless, because it is the way of the Lord. Sometimes, the path could be the path of the walking teacher, the itinerant rabbi who is Jesus Christ. And then at the end of the day, when we have walked and taught, we have nowhere to lay our heads. When we have given our very best, and then we are underpaid. When we have given our very best and we are tired and we have no roof over our heads and we have no pillow to rest on. It takes courage. It takes courage to be able to understand that synodality is not a walk in the park. Synodality will ask for that great courage, that great bravery to embrace the cross even if your path leads you to crucifixion. We must be a synodal church of courage. We must be a synodal church of humble listening. But the third component of synodality in our schools is that it must be a school of communio. What do I mean by this? That when you walk, you must not forget there are people behind you. When you walk, you must not forget there are people in front of you. When you walk, when you decide, when you make policies, please respect your predecessors. Please respect the foundation of the school. But at the same time, please respect the generations coming after us. So that when our turn comes to be buried six feet below the ground, those who will succeed us will just be grateful because we gave our best when, we, it, when it was our turn to lead and to serve. A synodal church is not a romantic church. A synodal church is not about sentimentalism and feeling good. It can call for a lot of effort and a lot of energy because only the strong can truly listen. Only the strong can take the path of martyrdom if that is the way that God has chosen for us. And only the strong will be able to consider that I am not alone, that I have the future to account to, that I have the past my ancestors, my founders to account to, and I have the Lord to account to. In other words, my dear fellow educators, a synodal school, a synodal college or university takes more than a vision, mission statement. It calls for effort to be, to be able to understand who you are, 
What is your destiny? Where are you going? We came from different places. We have one destiny, God. We listen to one another because we believe that God speaks through one another. We take courage because only the brave will be able to bear testimony that God is at work in this world. And at the end of the day, let us always remember we are only stewards, stewards of communio, because there will be judgment day. Our destiny is heaven, and before the divine teacher, we will be weighed how much we have loved and how much we have taken courage to love and to serve. Let us bow down our heads. Let us meet the Lord in silence. And to the Lord, let us say, stay with us, Lord.